it is exercise. It is, but you are so also dealing with people's personalities and people's people's shit. You know Absolutely. that they carry around that you, they carry around with them, mm. and that's all in that. That's all in their bodies. You can see it. I mean, mm. I can see it now, certainly. Mm. Um, and, and sometimes it's so quite a little bit overwhelming. You know, like some some people come in and they're wanting help, but they can be quite a overwhelming personality, and you're not necessarily quite sure what to do with it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, how to approach that type of person? Um, so, because that is cause that's a really that's a massive part of what we do, you know. Like people don't realize it, but it really is. Um, so maybe a little bit more guidance on how to to do that, um, yeah. which may not even be strictly Pilates, you know. You know, getting someone else, someone else in. I mean, I know I've done an NLP course. Very not massive NLP, but you know, a few hours. I would love and to do that. That's it. Was really quite helpful on how to create a rapport with someone. Yeah. Who so with important. clients who walk who walk in and and are difficult like that. Um, how do you, even if they're not difficult, how do you welcome them in with your body language or with what you can do? Um, yeah, that might be something a bit more, you know, yeah, left, of really left, cool. left, left of center, out of the box. That, well, I um, think what happens, is- no, I don't think it's so left of center. And again, maybe when they're right at the beginning, it isn't the you know, it could be overwhelming, like you were saying, I totally understand that. But at the same time, just having touching on it would be so useful because I think that would really help Mm. instructors with a lot of self doubt and, you know, getting that client that comes in and they're not giving them much in terms of smiles and happy faces and feedback and their body language is negative, just giving Mm. graduates an understanding that it's actually probably nothing to do with them and that's the way they see the world and um but still having an understanding of how to navigate that and get that person on side if it is indeed somebody that you would like to work with yeah and you know what even if it's not like I mean honestly Sarah I have had people come in and I'm like oh my god I you know I almost feel repelled by them I'm like oh what am I going to do with this and you know um and i they've ended up you know i've ended up teaching them for years and we've kind of come around and wow you know, uh, but um but you know like my first thing was you know just sort of i guess sort of blown away by what they're carrying around and mm, mm. and their attitude to it and so oh my god uh um, so do you believe so, do you believe in having an ideal client like attracting certain types of people that align with the values that you know that kind of thing or do you think or do you have an approach that whoever comes in the door you think you can work with them and maybe there's just a fine line um look I mean I definitely an ideal client um I mean I think that over time you kind of attract what you what you like you know um And if I, you know, certainly there are people that have uh, come to me and I'm like, you know, actually, I I, I don't, I don't think we're a good match. I don't think this is going, it it probably won't work. So best that they go with someone else. Um, You know, I definitely, I definitely have that. And I'll call that if I, if I can, if I can really feel it because it's not fun for me and they're not going to get the the best out of it. And I'm just like, no, but generally i re i really do try and understand where they're coming from what they're going through and to meet them to meet them where where they're at you know and the because the approach is going to be different for mm. for every client so i'm pretty i'm pretty malleable um yeah. you know i won't necessarily i don't you know i don't have one one way that I work and that's it. And if you don't fit in, then you're out the door. Yeah. Um, every, everyone's, everyone is different. Everyone does come in for the same reason, but it's also different. Uh, so I don't have an ideal client. My ideal client, all that I ask for is that 
that they show up and they're present and they're um, kind of, um, I guess, respectful, mm. you know, <laughs> um, respectful of what of me and what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to help them. That's that's really that's really it, you know. If you can, if you can do that, um, then then we're, we're kind of okay, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah, we, we're kind of okay. We'll 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 do what we what needs to happen. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, cool. so that would be that would be my ideal client. Yeah.